Integrated Breeding Platform has been promoted as the one-stop shop for access to services, tools and information about integrated breeding, that is breeding which incorporates uh, molecular technology into the breeding process. Um, the Integrated Breeding Portal that you can see on the screen now is, if you like, the manifestation of that one-stop shop. This is the informatics portal which provides access to all that information, services uh, and tools necessary to support an integrated breeding platform. So represented on the front screen of the integrated breeding portal are the four key areas uh, supported by the platform. Crop information, breeding activities, capacity building, and support for communities of practice. The crop information support provides access to information about a number of different important crops in developing countries, and they're listed at the top of the screen here. Uh, beans, cassava, chickpeas, cowpeas, groundnuts, maize, rice, sorghum and wheat. We have some information about each of these crops and by clicking on the appropriate crop will take you to the section which provides information about that particular crop. So here we have the crop information page for rice. We can see here the partners who really own this information, if you like, or support the curation of this information. Uh, the International Rice Information, uh, International Rice Research Institute, Africa Rice, and SEAT are the three international centers that support information for rice. We see some information below about the public data that's available for rice in the International Rice Information System and a little bit below that we see some information about the traits the ontology of traits and the trait dictionary that have been developed to support breeding work with rice in particular further below we see some information about the molecular markers that are available for this crop um, the, the idea is to have this information accessible from this page for download and indeed uh, from these sections, for example, by clicking on Trait Dictionary, I can initiate a download of a file with a list of 50 or more traits, which are the most commonly used traits uh, for plant breeding in rice, with their associated scales and protocols for measurement. Um, also, the intention is that from these uh, information pages you will be able to query uh, information for that crop directly so for the rice page we can move to a query interface for rice uh, where you're able to enter queries about rice information this 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 similar information then is available for the crops listed above and and we can take a quick look at the chickpea information page uh, with the information supported by the two centers ICRASAT and Decada. Moving back to the home page of the integrated breeding portal the next category of of information and services that are important for breeders uh, implementing integrated breeding programs are, are listed here under breeding activities. In the breeding activities section of the portal we see uh, a number of subsections access to integrated breeding tools and this refers, refers to uh, informatics tools uh, access to 
a workbench where these tools are assembled together to provide a platform to support integrated breeding, access to breeding services, and in particular here we refer to, uh, I'll go there, in particular here we refer to services for um, access to, to, to for genotyping services, a marker service here. Um, so we can go here and and on this page with the marker service you find instructions and methods for submitting germplasm to uh, external laboratories where you can get your genotyping done uh, rapidly and and w with high quality uh, and there are some other services available on the breeding services page um, are access to uh, uh, information about drought phenotyping, uh, access to trait and metabolite services, access to genetic resources. Um, looking back at the other, other categories available, breeding schemes uh, provides information for breeders on the different breeding strategies available. So we can look on this page here and see uh, different breeding strategies, design a breeding platform, we might want to use a marker a, a marker assisted recurrent selection strategy. If I click there it will show me all the steps needed to implement a marker assisted recurrent selection strategy and if I click on the various aspects of this uh, it should t take me to information and tools to allow me to perform that particular step of the activity. So returning again to breeding activities, uh, one of the important activities is access to the informatics tools necessary to support uh, integrated breeding. There's a diagram on the main page about what those activities are listed across the top of the diagram and the tools necessary to support those activities. So one of those activities is, is managing field trials and if you click on the field trial managing management system it takes you to the part of the platform where you have access to the integrated breeding field book this is a software application which you can download from this page and install it on your computer which helps you in the development and and printing of field books to help you with your phenotyping strategies returning to the main page. The next section of the portal providing uh, support to people implementing um, integrated breeding is a section on capacity building which provides learning and development support services. So if we have a look at the capacity building section um, we can see that we have uh, a list of learning resources, support services, we have some information on a multi-year training course that is being implemented as part of the uh, integrated breeding platform project. Uh, we have some access to some external capacity building resources. We have some information about funding and fellowships for, for students wishing to learn about integrated breeding. So looking at the integrated breeding platform learning resources is where uh, you will find the material that's been developed by the integrated breeding platform project to help support uh, breeders implementing integrated breeding projects. So here we see uh, information about molecular breeding, information about the design and analysis of, of experiments, uh, information about data management, data and information management, uh, various manuals, tutorials and, and, and so on for to support the inf informatics tools we've just had a look at. So we can have a look at the training material and uh, here you'll see uh, various courses uh, designed to support marker assisted breeding, uh, material to explain how to do drought phenotyping, uh, uh, training material on genomics and comparative genomics uh, that might be u useful to, to help support uh, molecular and integrated breeding projects. So if we look at the marker assisted breeding 
course you'll see some course material is available there developed by partners at, uh, at Cornell University in collaboration with the Generation Challenge program and you'll see separate chapters in the course and you can have access and download each of those chapters sequentially and go through them yourself or go through them with a class of class of students needing to learn this material. The last section of the integrated breeding portal has to do with uh, crop communities of practice and this provides all the informatics tools and support to uh, allow collaboration between uh, plant breeders in remote parts separated by distance but joined by a common goal and common technologies uh, so we have uh, th these community pages which have uh, facilities for uh, exchange of information uh, blogs announcements reports uh, and and uh, chatting with each other uh, across the internet so that problems can be shared uh, and hopefully solved collaboratively together. Um, the idea is that different communities of practice can come together and use these tools to, to uh, work together on whatever happens to be their common problems. Um, at the moment the communities of practice are set up um, to cover various crops so we have a community of practice uh, on integrated breeding in beans, cassava, chickpeas, cowpea, groundnuts, maize, rice, sorghum, wheat and we also have a community of practice uh, for people involved in the management of data for integrated breeding projects. If we have a look at the cassava community of practice you will see some information on the front page about cassava, a list of useful links. You can also see there that there are 64 members of this community of practice. Uh, so you can click on the number of members and you can actually see a list of the members uh, uh, who are signed up to be part of the cassava community of practice. These are all people who are interested in developing uh, cassava varieties for for use in developing countries. Um, so to to gain access to the integrated breeding portal, you need to uh, you need to ha be a member and have a have a log on credentials. So um, at the top of the screen here, there is uh, a an option that says register for an account so you need to click that and fill in a short form about some information about yourself uh, that's not not a difficult form they require your uh, your name and a little bit of information about you and, and an email address in particular and then the um, iPlant collaborative project uh, in the United States are supporting the integrated breeding portal so they first uh, give you a membership and a username for access to in fact in fact a lot of their facilities but in particular to the integrated breeding portal you will receive then an uh, an email saying that you are registered as a member of iplant and then you can go come back to the integrated breeding portal and log into that portal using this key at the top of the page here. You enter the credentials that you've been given in your email uh, uh, into this screen here and log into the account uh, for the integrated breeding portal. You will then come back to this page but you will be logged in. The next, the next step you have to do to make full use of the integrated breeding portal is to join the communities of practice which you're interested in. So you can look at each community of practice. Let's have a look at, at groundnuts, for example. If you're interested in breeding groundnuts here, um, you, you can go to the groundnut page and by clicking on this key in the middle here, log in to join this community. You will then become a member both. You are already a member of the portal, but once you click this, you will become a member of the groundnuts community, which means that you will be able to 
post, uh, post messages and exchange information with other groundnut breeders who are members of this community. And as you can see, at the moment there are 26 uh, breeders, 26 members who are in, uh, involved in the groundnut community of practice. Thank you. <laughs>